COVID-19 safety protocols is now the new normal at most formal events, with stricter measures in place, especially within a hospital environment, such as the Federal Medical Center Abel Kuta, where women hit the call for breast cancer screening. The event is put together by the Uplift Development Foundation, led by the wife of the immediate past governor, Olufun Choamusu. Breast cancer is the most common in women under the age of 60 globally, and there are several factors responsible for it. Quite a lot of us approach doctors, yes, I want to come for contraceptives, I just want to have one child or two, or I'm not ready to get children now. And once you are giving the contraceptives that we call the pill, you are likely to have breast cancer. As scary as the disease may sound, health experts still give a reassurance that it is not a death sentence. 80 to 90 percent of breast lumps are not cancer. Only about 10 to 15 percent are cancers, okay? But until you come, we won't know. This is corroborated by a survivor who shares her experience. What God told me was I should go ahead and do it because I want to live, not for anybody, for, my, for myself and for my children. If you are experiencing this kind of thing, please don't be quiet. Mrs. Amosu asks the women to take responsibility for their health, reiterating that anyone diagnosed with breast cancer will get free treatment. Early detection is still the only protection. This year's program is no different from the previous editions. As my dear husband, Senator Ibikumi Amosu, has made funds available for lumpectomy surgeries for any lump that we find during this year's Uplift Cancer Screening Program. According to medical experts, late presentation, lack of access and poor treatment are largely responsible for breast cancer fatalities. So the women are asked not to take anything for granted and present themselves for regular checks.